cut off the back of my latest video. Thought, you know, like while I've got a bit of lippy on, let's do another one. So let's do a little up down from lockdown Leicester. Uh, um, so we've been in lockdown since the 23rd of March, pretty much, 2020. So we're coming up to three days and a month before it's a year that we've been spending 14 days to flatten the curve. This has not happened I said right back at the beginning, I said back at the beginning of 2020, they were going to bring out some vaccines. Because just before we went into lockdown, a couple of weeks before we went into lockdown, they released on Netflix pandemic, um, saying that like there was going to be a pandemic that swept the world and only a vaccine would save it. And then... Two weeks later, we were put into lockdown, and here we are. Literally, they've just kept us shut inside our own homes until there's a vaccine. Now, unfortunately, I had a, I had a, a comment on something from a, my cousin earlier on, asking me to rethink my position on having a vaccine because it's better safe than sorry. That's exactly the the standpoint I come from. It's better to be safe than sorry. This vaccine is in clinical trials until 2023. You can find this if you look on the official lines and the official websites and whatever. It is in clinical trials. Everybody who takes this vaccine is participating in a clin clinical trial against their knowledge. We're not allowed to know that we're in clinical trials. If you want to know whether we're in clinical trials, just watch what they say about um, injecting pregnant women. Like, oh, we think it might be worth injecting pregnant women and newborn babies. We think that might work. That's a clinical trial. They don't know this. If they knew what they were doing, they wouldn't say, oh, we're going to try doing this and see if that works. These are clinical trials. We are participating. We are guinea pigs in clinical trials. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do it. I'd rather take my chances with the flu. And they've also said there's no chance that you, the, the vaccine provides no immunity and there's no chance that there's no chance you can't get it and there's no chance that you can't transmit it or be get it from somebody else the only these are the professionals this is the science who are saying this the only chance that you have the only thing that the vaccine could do is basically lessen the symptoms if you have it now i know somebody in america who has had convulsions uncontrollable convulsions since the second she took that jab she was a healthcare she it, yeah was a healthcare worker literally constantly cannot stop convulsing right this is somebody that i know on facebook that has this side effect i follow this group on facebook uh, covid vaccine reactions and whatever there are people on there who are coming out and saying, my dad had this, he he fell, he fell, got a bit of a headache, he fell asleep, he didn't wake up. I am not prepared to be one of those statistics. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it offends people who say, no, you must trust the science. You must believe, it, believe these people. And my cousin said... Don't believe everything that you read. I don't. When it's when it's written by the media, I don't want it said by people on the TV. I don't trust that. But I'm following peer-reviewed scientific studies. I'm taking 
the the opinion of Boris Johnson, who went on TV and said 93% of the positive results of the COVID test are false. 93%. Boris Johnson said that. This is not me making up conspiracy theories yet. 7% of a, posit of a positive test are actually real. 7%. That's all. And yet the world is shutting down because people have been having co positive COVID tests. And that's just taking them out of society. Dancing on ice, for example, has shut down. Two people, Rufus Hound and Joe Warren Plant, have been taken out of the race despite being perfectly healthy just because they had a positive COVID test. Nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with them at all. But because they tested positive, they're out of the game. And Boris Johnson said, 93% of the time it's wrong when you are testing positive. 93% of the time that's wrong. And that's Boris Johnson. That's the science. Chris Whitty, the science, said in March of last year, there is absolutely zero protection you will get from wearing a mask. There is nothing that it will do. It won't save you from a virus at all. And then this is the man who's also the science has changed his science. Do you think that he went all those, I don't know how old he is, but he's at least fucking 40 something. You th reckon he lived his 40 years, first years of science believing something that changed in one year like literally we need to just employ some common sense because these people are changing their views based on what they want to impose upon us they knew from the beginning that tests don't fucking work and masks don't fucking work and here we are now they're saying that children should be tested twice a week in order to be able to go to school. They're saying that these children should wear masks in public. I, I went down the street the other day and there was a young lad who couldn't have been above 13 wearing a mask in the street with this little lad by the side of him. But they were in the street in public like literally nothing could touch him and he was wearing a mask this is against our human rights and i am sorry for anybody i offend by saying that this is wrong but i shall continue to say where wrong is wrong because it is fucking wrong